Hey Bobbleheads, my skirm here. Before we jump into the video, thank you so much to Oculus for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description to see how you can get your very own Oculus headset. Today's video is gonna be fantastic fun. We're we'll gonna be playing games on a brand new headset. The Oculus Quest 2 just came out. I've heard the upgrades are impressive. I've heard the display upgrade is impressive. I heard that it's even lighter. I've heard that the controllers are nice. There's a little bit of a redesign. I've just heard good things. I'm excited to get into it myself and see how much better this is than the first quest. But before I can play it, I have to actually open the thing up. And here it is. Inside this box, I guess, is my new Oculus Quest 2. I uh, haven't opened it yet, haven't done anything, haven't touched the headset. This seems bigger than just the headset, I'm guessing. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Let's see what's inside. Sitting on the floor now, Oculus logo on the front, Oculus thing, an O on the top, you know. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, there's, there's the thing that I'm excited for. I mean, that I'm most excited for. Came with this nice note. Get out of here, packaging. Give me this. Give me this thing. Come to me. Boom. The Oculus Quest 2 headset in the box, in the retail packaging. Set that aside for now. Clearly, this box is bigger than just that. So if I reach down here, yeah. All right. Looks like a stainless steel bottle and a paper. Oh, there's something. There's something in there. With one hand. Let's do it. Oh, I know. I know what these are. I, I'm i sensing a theme. Hydration. These are sweatbands. Hang on. Let me sit you down. I thought this would be faster. Hang on. There we go. My very own Oculus sweatband. There's two of them in there, obviously. One on each arm. I, th I think Oculus is anticipating a, uh, a medium amount of sweat. A non-zero amount of sweat. I can do this guy with one hand. Easy peasy. What is this, an unboxing channel? What am I, a professional unboxer? Clearly not. This is a very nice uh, stainless bottle. Oculus on this side. Play for real with the pastel logo on the other side. That's nice. Looks like that's it in the box. Very cool water bottle. Other wristband. Get those out of there. And we'll get this box out of the way. Let's do this guy, shall we? This part might be difficult. I believe there's a sleeve on this bad boy. Why, yes. Yes, there is. Please don't, it would explode open into a thousand parts. Okay, there we go. Anyway, are you ready? Are you ready? She's a beaut. She's a beaut. She's a beaut. She's a beaut. What is this? I'm assuming this is gonna be like, power supply of some sort. How do you open? Tell me your secrets. All right, looks like it opens on the side here. Oh, looks like it opens like this, because I'm a moron. Looks like some instructions, getting started guide, reference, that sort of stuff. I know how this works. Looks like charging brick. Nice, normal charging brick. Looks like a relatively short USB-C, USB-C, double mail cable for the charging brick, and I presume to charge the headset itself. I would open that up, but I think we all sort of are familiar with charging cables and that sort of thing. This looks like it is the right controller. Oh, it is a different shape. Interesting. Okay, so I have, I have the first quest, and these look, if you know what the Oculus Touch controllers look like from videos, or if you've had one, these look similar. Like when I saw these in, in the videos, I was like, oh, it's just like a white touch controller. It's a little bit of a different shape. The Oculus button is over here. It's a different geometry and it feels, it sort of fills your hand up more. Very interesting. Joystick is in a little bit more natural of a position for your thumb and there's more de there's more space. One of the things I found is there was on the, on the touch controllers with the first Oculus or the first Quest, there wasn't a lot of space to just rest your thumb without touching things. 
and you had to sort of figure that there's a lot of space on this guy where you can you can just have your thumb sort of casually rested not be bumping any buttons anyway it's a controller oh that's interesting okay this is new there's a light here this was not here before that's i imagine that's to tell you whether it's on or off and whether it's connected i did not see this in the promotional stuff i didn't look super closely but um that's interesting so you do actually have a visual indication of controller is powered on controller is i assume probably controller is connected or not connected but anyway we're down to the last bit here this is the is that really how much this weighs are you kidding me all right maybe maybe don't drop the brand new piece of fancy technology i guess but is that really that's the heads that's the entire headset are you serious it feels like it's empty chat i mean not that it feels cheap or anything it feels solid it feels like it's well built but it, it feels like there's supposed to be something more inside of it honest to god it feels that's incredibly light that is i think maybe smaller than the quest one it looks smaller and it's that's so light that's like a heavy pair of i mean maybe that's exaggerating heavy pair of sunglasses maybe a little bit much but it just it feels tiny i that's this is gonna feel like not wearing nothing on your head also this this thing here is the glasses spacer probably i think there you go basically this the soft part comes off of the headset like that pops right out and you put this in between the headset itself and the cushion and it gives you more distance between the lenses and where your eyes go so that glasses fit inside if you if you have glasses and you've used vr i'm sure you understand what i'm saying if you don't have glasses this doesn't really apply to you this is a non-issue it's just something that makes it uh, so that glasses wearers can be more have a little more comfort anyway there we have it chat there's the headset oculus quest 2 headset with the new uh redesigned touch controllers the charging brick and charging cable the very nice uh thermal or vacuum thermos water bottle and the very useful and necessary oculus sweatbands that came with it thank you so much oculus for sending this to me I obviously, like I said, this is sponsored, but also I'm so excited. Ever since I had my, I, I got my Ocu my first headset, my first Oculus headset, VR has come so far. It's so amazing. It's so fun. I cannot wait to get this thing set up, hooked up to the Wi-Fi and start gaming. So thank you so much. And uh, I guess I'll see you with the games. Hey, Bobbleheads, I am here in the Oculus Quest 2 headset with the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners loaded up and we're gonna jump into a brand new game and see how uh, terrified I can make myself before I give up and run away screaming because this looks really crisp the environment looks really real I it'll be fine new game baby okay before entering the world of Walking Dead you need to learn the gameplay basics that's incredibly cool. Take fruit from your backpack, hold it to your mouth to eat it and restore stamina. Nutria stew. Mm. Take bandage from your backpack, wrap them around your arm to restore health. Oh no. Oh God. <laughs> For some combat, okay. Give me my arm back, okay. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh no. Well, it's have durability. The meter will break when it runs out. Oh, it's an axe. Okay. Hi. Can I hit you with the... Can I hit you with the... Oh god. Oh, my, it gets floppy. I can, I can do one arm, but it gets, when I get tired, it gets floppy. Oh, God. Shake off walkers. I don't want to. 
Do I have to? Jeez. Uh, God. Get away. Talk to the person by the exit to complete the tutorial. Ah, damn, would you look at that? Just remember, them walkers out there ain't gonna treat you as kindly as the ones in here. Okay. God, I'm gonna pee my pants. Are you kidding me? Orleans well, perished by yeah, one week I'll ago. Be down. All right, the hi. Tourist in the flesh. Yeah. Oh. Stories about you been buzzing all over the bayou. Cool. Word is even reached Nola. <laughs> yeah. But if the city is where you're headed, well, I suspect your story is just beginning. There's there's money. There's money in the fire. I guess we don't need money because it's Here's a friendly warning. Okay. One lone soul to another. The dead. Ain't the only thing to be fearing in the Big Easy. Do I get to steer this there boat? There's a war brewing. The tower on one side, looming on the horizon, high and mighty, spouting their all-for-one ideals. And shunning any folks who don't be towing the line. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey, don't, don't, don't hurt him. Oh, he's gonna become a zombie. I guess you shot him in the brain. I guess that's fine. Those reclaimed renegades are on the other, making everyone's skin crawl with their horror show tactics. Hi. And the powder keg that's gonna make the whole city blow? The reserve. <laughs> I can tell by the spark that jumped up in your eyes that you've heard the legend. Yeah, sure. Disaster relief supplies. Yeah. For when the flood to end all floods hit. Sure. In an old military bunker. Never distributed to the people because the government didn't know its ass from a hole in the ground. That sounds right to me. And before they could figure it out, the dead started walking. Oh, all that grub, all those meds, hmm, military grade weapons, hey, it's coming. and ammo to boot, untouched, hidden. <laughs> and guess who's close to unearthing the mother load? That's right. You're looking at him. <laughs> you? But this broken body has seen better days. And I need to get after it real quick before the fools get wise. So, if you find yourself itching to step out of the bayou and help out an old man... Okay. Well, you can find me in the cemetery where I'm holed up. Okay. There would be a 50-50 split in your future. Sure. Ah, I ain't greedy, and I ain't no fool. Give it a ponder, tourist. You just might be what this sinking city needs to keep his head above water. But then again, <laughs> maybe you're the type to pull the whole godforsaken place under. Oh, don't wake up. The stay, stay asleep, zombies. Shit. Huh? Oh god, it's just an intro sequence. Okay. Cool. Good, good. You got it, baby. <laughs>
Okay. No weapons. Some... What is this? Kitchen knife. What is this? Bandages? Okay. I've got a knife. Don't mess with me, baby. Oh, if I crouch, I can physically crouch. Good, excellent. Objectives, graveyard strut. An old man named Henry lives in this graveyard. Told me to meet him here. If I help find the reserve, he'll split the supplies with me. Find old man's hideout. Got it. Nothing. All right. Give me that. Oh, that's kind of useful. Okay. Can I have this? Nope. Okay. Okay. Did I lose my screwdriver already? Ah, oh, shoot. Don't come in. Oh, there's my screwdriver, frick. Don't come in here. Stay in your, stay in your... Holy jeez. Okay. All is well. All is well. Broken. So you put that in there. Sure. No, not you. You. Not you. You. Is this just a trap? Is this literally just a back trap alley? For me to get, oh my god, I'm losing my mind already. Okay, I got the axe, I got a screwdriver. I, I'm trying to talk, I'm trying to say things, and I literally can't. This is, oh, this is the most immersive, I, it's, I can't. I can't say anything. Are you alive? Okay, let's go this way. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm shit. Don't make a don't make a scene. Don't make a scene. Don't make a scene. Don't make a scene. It's fine. How durable are you? Okay. It's fine. I just need to adventure around a little bit and find the old man's regions. You dead? You seem dead. Hey! Fool. Such a damn fool. Trying to help you. Oh, no more. Please. I, I can't. I to take no more. Are you trying to get me to... Oh. Uh... Bro. Take it easy. I'm here. I'm here. No one is going to harm you anymore. 
Now you show up. Oh, son of a bitch. Both sides. They came down on me. Same time. Slaughter. No, I kept my mouth shut. He didn't get shit out of old Henri. All right. Oh, do me a solid. The bus. All I got. All I've done. Don't. Don't let it go to waste. You're not. Come on, man. I'm begging you. You're fine. Help the kid. Huh? Her mom. 50 50 still stands. Huh? They get mine. Understand? Okay. They're the only ones who deserve it. Okay. The rest? Drown the motherfuckers. Uh, who is she? Henri, who are you talking about? So long, waterfall. So long, waterfall. So long, water. No, bro, come on. Hey, listen, buddy. Okay. Ah. Hey. Oh, shit. Oh, God, that was fast. Okay. Henri is dead, baby. Henri is dead. The bus. There's the bus. So long, waterfall. Oh, God. Okay. Well, I found your hideout, dude. Hey, la bus. Task added to journal. Find clues about the reserve. This is it, the old man's hideout. A rusted out bus. Better look around. Try to piece together what he had on the reserve. Wouldn't hurt to get some shut eye, too. There's a lot of gear stands in here. Look at the notes and read them. Game clues. I had an inkling. And by God, I was spot on. The reserve. It's out there. It exists. This journal I found proves it. Still, so much work to be done. Stones that gotta be overturned. Riddles that need solving. Waterfall and frequency 61 has to be connected to the reserve somehow. Command and control, I'm guessing. Uh, that, that's the next step. If I can get this blasted radio repaired. Can I one hand this bad boy? Seems that I can. All right, we got that. Need some sort of microphone for that bad boy. What did I do? Sleep till morning when it's safe to travel? It's fine. All right. Let's sleep till morning, baby. All right, bobbleheads, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again to Oculus for sponsoring this video. Thank you for everything. This this game is was so tense. It was atmospheric. It was downright spooky. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank you for everything. As always, this has been My Skirm, and I'll see you in the next one.